So we got hand salt here. Uh, the Witcher needs to go. And probably that's it for now. I want a long round three, but also Hansel likes a long round three. So I'm not sure what's the the best uh, course of action here. Did you did you try the bear mode? Yeah, I I tried it without having an appropriate deck. Uh, it was hard. We lost. <laughs> I try Robert uh, Ciardini's influence and uh, persuasion. Yeah, I know. I actually already have those, but I didn't read that yet. You did recommend those uh, um, some time ago. May your sword and arm I've read a finance book lately, which was actually uh, quite helpful for me, as as someone who's a, like a tall noob when it comes to finance and there are some apparently some bad finance books and I, I definitely had some bad finance uh, advice uh, yeah it's called uh, the simple path to wealth by Gia Collins that's the one I read it's a very simple just like don't be a complete dumbass when it comes to finance kind of book so I kind of liked it The reason I liked it is because, like a lot of people, me included, was we're, are pretty hesitant to get into the whole finance thing, but it's not that hard, I guess. Actually, we can just move the enemy to the other row. Slaughter them to a man. And I tried to get into the into the past, in the past, and it always seems so confusing, That's like uh, like. I don't know, choosing your own stocks. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> Where do I begin? What a mess. But, yeah, you don't want to deal with that. Anyway, well, that was that was a long time ago. Like, yeah, that was, that was pretty long ago. Anyway, uh, we are giving up round one. And uh, we are playing the Witcher's round two. Reach that, poor that is pretty good for accuracy. Uh, I'm, I don't think I've read that. Apparently it doesn't have a... But the reviewers didn't like it that much, so I'm a little bit hesitant to read it myself. Uh, I need to kick Roach. Yeah, that's all. Do you guys like the bear mode? It's a little different. Makes deck thinning, uh less relevant. Okay, let's just play the smuggler. Even Ally Zeal. I don't know. Nice mess you've got here. <laughs> Doesn't he like a long round? Okay, let's just play the Witchers. We can always play... The Ragnarok next turn, if he is damn stubborn. No, he's passing. We're just passing as well. That was pretty good, so we got plus two. Plus uh, managed to get our thinning out. I 
I need to throw back a trap. I don't really want the archer. Oh, actually, that's really good. So I can start with the Elven Swordmaster. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. I'm checking this game cash flow that you you suggested. My brother's 100 million dollar employer gave him that book the minute he landed the work with him. Family friends with his uh, favorite daughter. Don't put too much faith in low EQ reviewers' tastes. But that doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily true that they are low uh, IQ. And I'm not disputing that the... Uh, well, actually, I haven't read the book, so I can't critique it myself. One book that I actually tried to read, and actually read most of it, uh, and I say this as a fan of the man, was uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, 12's Rule for Life. 12 Rules for Life. Uh, that's what I was uh, recently somewhat disappointed with it was it was like it has some good advice in it and it, he definitely tries to follow the advice that you should uh not just like tell people what to do but why to do it and he just tries to do that but in a way it kind of it kind of ends up feeling like a bible study uh, at times and it just like runs way too long and apparently there are better books uh, covering uh the the issues he's bringing up so overall i like the man and i like his videos but uh i wasn't a, a fan of uh his book so i didn't like that i just like went up and like just checked it out myself yep yeah, his older videos better Okay. It's an odd card. I don't see anyone playing it. I'm actually quite a fan of psychology myself, but... I don't know. Maybe I should like focus on other things as well. Def definitely should focus on other things as well, but... Yeah. I just feel like sometimes like I, I was like looking for some cool books to read and... I don't know, I, I didn't care that much. But, uh, like, very, like, specific topics that, I suppose my interest is more self-help oriented than just, like, a general interest in psychology. Although I have a, a general interest in psychology. That's the one thing that I kind of ended up uh, wishing for, that I could be the man who can say the right thing. But, like, a meaningful right thing when someone has a problem. That could genuinely help, or at least can just like point them in the right direction. What is your main focus now? Actually, I try to. Well, main focus. You're kind of asking the the wrong guy about this. <laughs> mm, I can move away the trebuchet, but maybe I don't want to. I kind of tried to get my life in order a little bit more 
Like, I try to pay attention to my physical health, my mental health. I try to be not a completely responsible jerk with my finances. If I can help it. But that's one of my weaknesses. Well, I try to uh, stay educated uh, somewhat. And uh, what am I missing here? Oh, yeah. Socializing. Uh, that, that shouldn't be completely ignored. Uh, I guess. You should not have come here. But I suppose my main focus right now is just to be more financially responsible. So that would be my main focus. I'm pretty sure I'm asking the right one. <laughs> so that would be my main focus. That's what I would say. Does he have some kind of a commander sworn? Hmm. I can just lock this guy. And uh, let's just hit it once. So, Pitfall Trap. Gotta be played pretty soon. Stand and fight. Boost. Five is smart. Okay, uh, we can do a pitfall trap. I. I just like, well, I kind of looked around on YouTube and apparently just some, like, many other, like, 20-something guys, like, early 20s guys are, like, millionaires. Like, just bragging there, like, what the fuck, are doing that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a little bit older than that. I'm like, okay, maybe I should just uh, stop dicking around a little bit. Although I had some uh, difficulties. Holy fuck, it's really good. <laughs> Commander's Horn. But that means we can just, like, move someone. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is not too bad. So what I can do... Well, we play that next turn. I can just throw this guy into the front for now and just move him back later. And we can play your vet. I am who I need to be. Full trap. Actually, wait, I fucked up. Uh let's do something like that. That was a good time to use that. So, we can move this back. It's gotta be a bit tricky. Also, he still has to use the summoning circle. That obviously gets used like that. I think we should just move Vernon Rush into the front. Or maybe not? Should I just try to avoid some unlikely lacerate? I don't think moving him into the front is gonna matter too much. But I think that's the way to go about it. So I can just hit that. Because we moved back the trebuchet, so he's gonna hit me a little bit. Peace with humans. So let's do like that. And that's our last move. Crushing traps coming down. Actually it doesn't matter. 
Trebuchet just dies. I killed for less. Just random five oh eight. Come to Papi. Yeah. Lost is quite quite hard. And the fact that the Mahakam Horn can be triggered earlier allows us to play Mahakam Horn and just like re-trigger it. Uh with uh, your vet. That's kinda cool. GG, just random mate. Deep tot. Pierre then. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really mulligan too much. Maybe I'm just gonna go with like one smuggler, this guy, Alvin Swordmaster too. I gotta say the Dolbratana sentry is not really doing too much. I just started the smuggler. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna play Vesemir here. So the previous era then simply just used his hero power to guarantee an immune. Uh, well, I can move it, but. Let's just go with Swords the other one. Swordmaster. I don't really want to. Okay, this this is probably the same deck. Could be the same guy. I don't think it's the same guy. Okay, we have three traps in hand. That's obviously too much. Too many witchers. Still too many witchers. I do have the answer for that. They can hide, but there is no escape. Will he keep pushing? Sure, no problem. Oh, you bastard. But I don't have Ragnarok. I do have Jorvid's Gambit, which could be interesting, but later. I can get at my own Witchers. This is so bad. Hey. Gotta play the smuggler. Unfortunately, he knows that I have an Askel in hand. He's gonna abuse that information uh, to, s to force me into a terrible situation. I can play a horn, which is actually enough to put us at 23. So I'm playing that horn 
and he knows this. Then we can play this. It's gonna be a 5. We are at 20. Let's play the double trap. That certainly is gonna be enough. I can just pass, and the trap triggers. He did force it out, which is bad, but I could have a Ragnarok. Yeah, that helps. This guy goes away for sure. And Elven Scout doesn't give me too much. So this could be more valuable. Although, yeah, and if he got Yorvat or Pafko Gale, that would be obviously better. New patch dropped? Oh shit. Yeah, oh shit instead. Yeah, indeed. Uh, just check this out. You gotta read the new patch. Basically, monsters nerfed a little bit, but they are monsters, so, like, it doesn't matter. Uh... Let us sing the maybe Nilf got buffed a little bit. Basically, like, monsters got nerfed. But it doesn't matter. It's good that it spawns in the same row. So we don't have any crushing trap. We just have to put people in the fire. Uh, do I want a Bruver Hog? It seems like a good unit to brew your hog. A lot of small units, a little bit irrelevant ones, are probably more vulnerable to getting hit. I'd love Eldane being playable. Well, this is not your patch. Ooh, he's tricky. I just don't see how Elden is gonna be playable. Because he can get 12 points, but you would need to use the traps and then transform them into guys. So situational. It's interesting for tempo. But the problem is, just... It's not gonna work. God. Yeah, well, come on. Having Yorvet would have been awesome. That's pretty good. Actually, I don't really have much to do. Like, I can do that. He's gonna take four more damage. I can move him out of the fire, but what's the hell? What the hell? Why do I want to do that? Peace with humans. Move my guy back. Thus. Sure. Have you noticed that after Spear's nerf, people stop using artifact counters, so decks have full of other 
to prize artifacts like ale, etc. I well that makes sense. What did he have? Like a scorch? So that gets hit. I buff my own guy. Come back! We got him! The auto pass! I can't be a jerk anymore. What the hell? Is the hand counter different? Yeah, it's a little different. Like, you can just see the exact number in the corner. And the auto pass is great. We just had a game that concluded in 10 minutes. Without the auto pass, that would have been less, at least 20 minutes. So, big success. GG.